What's up, speedrunners of the Star Wars The Force Unleashed community? My name is Zogelix, and I'm going to show you guys uh, my version, which I believe is in-game time faster, as well as kind of a safer way to do the Imperial Felucia Sarlacc Pit Claw section. And so you first thing you want to do is come up onto this area here, uh, first, you kind of skip a little bit of dialogue, which doesn't lose any time to play that dialogue. But one thing I like to do is... So, note for this, this only works for the Xbox 360 or PS3 consoles because you use the infinite air dash mechanics. Uh, so, what you want to do first is I like to infinite air dash over here. Some it's It might not be viable. I'm probably gonna actually recommend that you don't do it because it's really easy to get yourself caught and as you can see I've done it already multiple times so then once you get that first claw switch activated I'm gonna go grab this holocron because I'm a nerd uh, so once you get that first crane section you come over here jump onto this tooth and then you can jump over here and dashing blast over here and the reason why you do that is it will despawn the uh, stormtroopers and you can then jump up here and get this guy without any issues. So now we're going to get into what is a strat that I came up with and you're going to want to come over here onto this platform and you'll see that tooth over there that's kind of got like a little bit of like gross web on it. That's kind of the general direction you want to aim and do another infinite air dash. And that there will allow you to deload some of the troopers as you go over to the third claw. So I messed it up. I'm going to try that again. And I might be too far left, so I'm... But I'm going to commit to it because I don't really have any other choice. So another thing you can do is because I'm too far left, I'm going to make that adjustment by overshooting the original plane by doing a second infinite air dash stacked upon the first one, which then will allow me to land right here. And then as you can see, you can come over here. And the enemies have deloaded. They'll do their dialogue, but then you're able to discharge the last section of the crane and not have any enemies that you have to deal with. As you then make your way back over into the crane to start the Sarlacc pit section. So those are the strats that I came up with. Uh, well, that one strat that I came up with. Everything else is fairly mainstream. Uh, feel free to use that. If you have any questions, you can let me know on Discord. And yeah, I uh, wish you guys good luck.